Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna continue working on part 9 of this cabinet. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add the topo surface, topography of the building, uh, and then we did a sub-region, and then we want to make sure that everything is good to go. So now everything is ready for twin motion. Um, just double check that you have it on fine and then you save it and then after that let's go to twin motion plugin and then see in twin motion and then after that just click on new project and then press ok and then wait for it to be loaded and as you can see we have our model loaded like this And then what we could do is we could select this floor and then pull it down. Okay, so at least the floor is down and then we could just set up everything with this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to save this first. So go to file and save it to your folder. So I was able to save it on my folder. And now we're ready to create something here. So what we could do is we could go to our left side so that we could add in some materials. Um, let's go to glass first. I usually choose two-sided glass. Click it there and then add in some opacity and then change the color to black something like that and then we could just check everything and then let's add in some materials right here so metal we have this aluminum siding and this this siding as well so we could choose this siding like so reflection and then let's see for the scale okay let's add some scale onto that so that it's visible um, for the roof we're gonna do some siding as well probably or a different uh, metal material so let's see on this if we have a better choice. So let's skip that for now. And then for the mullion, I could just select this one using the material picker. So choosing the aluminum and then here we could make it darker like that press ok and then we have it like that um, for the roof maybe we could just add the roof first so let's go to roofing and then we could add this room pro probably or this one that will look nice you can also use this don't change the scale too much for this one I think this is much better for the materials okay so for that let's leave it with that material at least it's different from there and then here we could add in the wood material so we could go to our quick cell mega scan so we should sign in so sign in first 
and then once you sign in you'll be able to go to quick some mega scan and then let's do uh, surface and then let's look for wood and then plank let's add in some wooden plank I think we have it on twin motion as well uh, the materials um, I think there's a good material for wood as well not the siding but something here let's see not this one I'm trying to see which one is better but let's go to twin motion now and instead of here let's go to plank again and then try this one this one's not looking good that one is too much not good as well This one looks nice. Let's see this one. This one looks better outside actually. I rather have that one outside with the wood so I'm gonna change that yeah this plank wood is much better here so I'm gonna change this this one but we need to replace this first before we do anything else so I'm just looking for a better wooden finish here I want to see back Let's see others here, board. As you can see, there's a lot that we could do here. And then we have veneer as well. This one looks nice as well. I kind of like this one to be featured on all of this I'm just adding everything even the floors something that we could do for now and then here we could add this one onto the side and for the top maybe we could just do this as well
let's go back here and let's use the wall instead right here so now that looks much better and then for the stone let's use this for the stone and then something slate at the top there there we go I'm just gonna add in a wood probably a veneer wood or the same wood as this one as well so I'm gonna pick this and add it like that and then I'm just gonna leave this one looking like that this will be maybe I could just use this softwood lumber and I want to see which one is this so this is metal we could just change change it a bit like that still filling with the metal we have wood at the end and then metal siding like that I want to change the stairs so I'm just gonna click here and we forgot to change the material there but that's fine and then here we could just leave it like that because it's something that we're not be able to see or being shown this one is cherry let's change it to something dark so that's good and then this one is a road so let's go ground man-made and then we could do a cobblestone like that or this one and then what we could do here is we could isolate this so isolate and then now we could add in some grass vegetation paint and then let's go to detail grass or no not detail grass grass and then we could do long grass like this and then let's save this first because this is um this is getting heavy so once we add this one and plus the three it's going to be heavy so make sure to save it before we do anything else So once you finish saving, now we could click here, change the density to 100, 
click it back here and then click on the vegetation paint we can change the diameter from there right here we're just gonna make it big so that we have we could cover a lot of space so you can see it's not visible from this range so what we could do is we could just and obviously this space we shouldn't add anything here this is for the house around the house so we're just going to assume that there's a house there and we're just going to paint around it with the grass And then we could change the diameter right here. And then change the diameter again right here. okay i'm happy with that and then now we could press escape click here and then unisolate now everything is covered with glass we could add in extra later on what we could do is we could paint so let's go to ground So what we're going to do here is just go to the ground, nature, and we're just going to see this grassy ground to this kind of ground. I think that's better. It will look much better with our rendering. So we have grass and then we have some ground. And we could just add some again on this side so I'm just adding some more and if we want to make it smaller we could add in exactly around the area here okay and then for this ground the other ground so we could just add in the same ground as well so go to ground nature and then add like that so let's continue this on the next video thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below